Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Fuel today on World of Tanks console. That's right, boys and girls. And what we're doing here, we're, we're covering the Tier 2 British Light Tank, the M2. Um, it's the same thing as the American in some ways, I guess you say. Um, I mean, it looks like the penetration is basically the same. The hit points the same. Actually, no, the hit points is a little bit more. But let's cover some of the stats about this tank, the commander. And take her out into a battle and see what she can do, guys. And I'll see you guys there. Well, I mean, but we'll see you at the battlefield yet. But let's get right into some of the stats of this little light tank for the British uh, ground forces. The penetration for the standard AP is 48 meters penetration. The APCR gets 70 meters penetration. And the HE gets now 19. Damage is around 40 for both the AP and APCR. And damage for the HG is 50. Hit points is 165, which, yeah, it's just five more hit points than the American M2 light tank. Uh, the max speed is 66 miles per hour, which is the same thing on the Americans. The view range is 326, which is it? Yeah, same thing. And the concealment of this tank is. 346. Is that the same thing as the Americans? No. It's a little bit more. Around 5 more than the Americans. This is a tech tree tank, so you do get two different guns. You get the Brawling MG Caliber 50 HB M2. The rate of fire is 114.85. The accuracy is 0 0.50. The damage is 8, uh, which that tells you it's actually a machine gun penetration is 27 and how much rounds can carries 1800 hang on guys uh, and then you got this gun right here the 37 mm gun m5 the rate of fire of it is 23.57 of the dpm the accuracy is 0.41 it can carry up to 103 rounds yes a little bit less than the machine gun but you get a little bit more better penetration and damage with your gun as well my equipment I add a proof duration crew performance 5% a advanced power train uh, max speed is 5% and horsepower is 5% track system max speed is 10% and chassis and hull rotation speed is 10% I put my consumables, repair kit, first aid, and fire exchanger. And my main ammunition, I have around 93 rounds of AP, 5 rounds of APCR, and 5 rounds of HE. Never know when you're going to need the APCR. And let's talk about the commander, which I only have one perk on him. I haven't been working on my British light tanks, I'm sorry. 10% uh, increase to accuracy, and that's basically the only thing I got on this guy. But before we do go into a battle, uh, I did get a message a while back uh, on my, I think, Tier 1 tank review for the American T-22 prototype. Uh, someone asked me if I could find out how to get Tier 1s and 2s. So far, but I'm finding out you can't really get them. Uh, Wargaming hasn't given us a option to get them back for console, um, which is pretty sucks. I wish that they do something where we can get these things back, but so far as uh, I'm seeing, you just can't. Uh, that is sad, actually, but apparently, maybe, just hear me out, maybe Wargaming will allow us to get these things back, uh, maybe through a season, maybe, I don't know, I can't be 100% really sure about that, but I'm hoping maybe they allow us to get these things back, because there is still a few other tier 1s. I want to do reviews on and a few tier twos and stuff like that but so far as I know of the only way to get them back because I think one of the seasons you could have gotten this little guy right here the PZ-38H which is a tier 2 premium German light tank but it acts like a heavy tank so yeah but you know what guys let's take this thing out into a battle of the M2 and see what she can perform alright See you guys there. So we're back, guys, on uh, mines, and I'm sorry for uh, 
actually not getting this video out or my world of warships but means yes you're actually going to be getting four videos today meaning assassin's creed tank video a ship video actually two types of ship video but the second ship video is not going to be the review it's going to be a the season three of raw on uh the game mode the last season of the game mode on the uh, world of warships console so yeah i'm sorry for not getting these videos out to you guys any faster i kind of wanted to but my sheriff factory was just acting up so what i did last night i deleted it last night and when i went to bed after i was done doing the uh uncharted video i basically re-downloaded it when i went back to bed uh when i went back but when I went to bed, I re-downloaded it. So that way, today, I could get these videos out. And before I did this, I was testing to see if it actually was would have worked. And it did, so you're getting this video today. All four. <laughs> yeah, got my hands full today. But we do spot a few enemy tanks at the beginning, as you've seen there. I kind of did have another replay ready for you guys. Uh, but sadly... I deleted it because I thought it was the replay, but it wasn't. It was the Sheriff Factory acting up stupid, so yeah. We see this guy, but I don't go too forward. I do spot more enemy tanks. Okay. We spot this D2, D1, a French uh, Tier 2 light tank. This is a completely Tier 2 game. Locked aim on him. Him once. Him again. He's trying to go in reverse. Pull forward. He just keeps on missing me. And again. Oh my goodness, I just keep tearing this guy apart. And boom, we tear him apart completely, killed him. I think by having this, you mostly can win the game. But I wasn't feeling too comfortable with a tank on the enemy team. That, well... Down here at this tier is really strong. And we're going to show you what tank we're talking about. Not this thing. That's a BT-7. We do shoot, put two shots into him, but that shot completely missed. But also, I got somebody messaging me about seeing if I could find out how to get tier 1s and 2s back. But sadly, that's the thing. I've tried my best. Oh, I'm being spot somebody. We, we're trying to get a good location on this guy. If I don't tell you guys this now, I'll tell you guys a little bit later. But... For now, we're trying to get this guy. We put one shot to him. He takes out our engine. I put another shot to him. I repair my engine. And I completely take him out. Oh boy, here comes more D1s. Two more D1s. One hits me. Leaves me on three hit points. I lock him onto the second one. Fire. Completely miss. Okay. Three hit points. I don't want to die. I hit him. Damage him. And I shot this one to the ground. This guy now has the heal, and there's still the Panzer 38H. And I thought he was over there, because I thought I'd seen him over there, but apparently he wasn't. At first I thought this was the BT-7, but it wasn't. It was the Panzer 38H. So I locked aim onto him, missed that shot, he is going in reverse, trying to make sure he misses. I hit him once, he bounce off me uh, okay I am again that completely bounce oh boy that hit the ground and oh well that was my fault yeah that was completely my fault right there but yes I did have someone messaging me about tier ones and twos how to get them back and I tried my best of figuring it out and so forth the only way I figure found out that you can get these things back is if you had them before update 6.0 now I don't that doesn't help anyone that wants these things back if you still like sold them or anything like that but I do must say this much if maybe wargaming it I'm just saying this I'm not it's not gonna be true or anything what about if wargaming brings them back in a season or maybe bring them back as something where you could buy them with credits like tier ones could be like 20,000 credits, maybe 50,000 credits. Tier 2s could be like 100,000 to 60,000. And look at that, I came third. Wow, okay. Um, yeah. But, you know, that's 
something I do think Wargaming should do there guys for the tier 1s and 2s. If you guys agree, please leave a like on this video. Um, but you know what, I think that's going to be basically it for this type of video. Uh, I hope you guys really do enjoy it because, well, I don't know what's taking Oh yeah, I forgot I was messaging somebody at this time, so don't mind me. So I did have a few time, a little bit more longer to talk about the ideas of the tier ones and twos, but I just hope that they do somehow bring them back. I mean, it's something I do think that uh, Wargaming needs to think about. But this video is coming to a close now, definitely, and uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.